Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Pod Workshop. One of the things that I like to do every now and then is go down memory lane and take a look at how I used to store the different socket sets that I had. And one of the things that I did, and this is, goes back about 40 years or more, is I made this very simple little storage rack to be able to hold all the different sockets. Now this particular one was set up for the 3 8 inch sockets. And one of the nice thing about it, they just slipped right onto that and they would stay in place and I could keep these organized by the size and I could also have more than one set of these different sockets. And at that time in my life, that was very important to be able to have. Today, I wanna to show you exactly how I made this very simple storage rack. Now granted, you could do this on the CNC machine, but you don't have to. You don't need the CNC machines. In fact, when this one was made, CNC machines didn't even exist. The other one that I had was this one. Now this one had quarter inch dowel rods and it made it where I could store the quarter inch sockets very easily as well. So I wanna show you just real simple how you can lay this out, drill it with using a drill press, or for that matter, if you don't have a drill press, you can still use a hand drill to be able to drill all of these different holes to be able to make this. And all you need is a piece of scrap wood, a 3 8 inch dowel rod, and a quarter inch dowel rod. Now, if you wanted to make one of these for your half inch socket sets, grab a half inch dowel rod and you're all set. Now, at one point, I had this actually mounted on the wall in the shop. And at another time, when I was doing a lot of work on cars and things, I actually had this mounted on a cart that I could roll around and bring that cart with all the tools directly to the vehicle that I was working on. So this turned out to be really, really convenient. Now, as far as this angle right here, this angle is really about a 15 degree angle and that worked out fantastic. It does not have to be precise. Anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees will work just fine to be able to store all the different sockets. Now today, I store my sockets a little bit different because this is one that I showed you not too long ago where I 3D printed this one and it has worked out fantastic. And this one was for the quarter inch set. And this one right here was for the 3 8 inch. And these do work out quite well. And this is another system that I use in the shop today that works extremely well because I can just grab this by the handle and take this right out to where I'm working on the vehicle or whatever I'm working on. And I have the whole entire set right here at my fingertips. So that's another way to be able to do it. Now, so many years ago when I made this, I just put these quarter inch dowel rods, one inch on center, going in both directions, and that was all that was needed. And the other thing that you can see, I just rounded this corner off. Again, that wasn't necessary, but it worked well. So all you need to do is just take the tape measure, and on any piece of wood, it really doesn't matter, and I just simply mark the one inch going in each direction. And you can start out, you can see I started out about a half an inch down. So I started a half an inch and then went every inch after that. And that would be good. Now from there, you can just grab the speed square and lay this grid out. Now keep in mind, back 40 years ago, we didn't even have speed squares. Well, you can just simply put this down, mark your grid, now switched over to a longer speed square, but you can do the same thing. And I think I use either a tri-square or a framing square to lay out the original one. And we'll flip this one over and do that last line right there. And that gives you the grid system that you need to be able to drill the holes. Now for this, I'll get a quarter inch drill bit, and then we can drill the holes in each of these. Now I have the uh, quarter inch drill bit that I can use to put the holes in. And as I said, if you don't have a drill press, you can certainly use a drill. And we'll just put that in, tighten it up. The only thing that you need to do is make sure you don't drill all the way through the wood. The simplest way, just use a piece of tape, measure the depth that you want, 
and then wrap that tape around and there is your depth gauge now you can drill the holes right down to that depth and you have a perfect gauge that will work every time at the drill press we'll do this a little bit different now at the drill press you have this right here that you can adjust and set the depth and when you plunge down into the material this will stop at the desired depth so i can turn this down to where i need it make the adjustment now the nice thing about this setup is that i can use this fence to be able to move and adjust to be able to line up these holes so i can literally put this right along the fence bring this up to where it needs to be put that right there on the center of the grid and then tighten down the fence and then from there i'll just go down set the depth that i want and there we go and now i'm actually ready to be able to drill this first roll of holes So this will go very quickly. You can drill the holes and fit the dial rods into it. And then when you get ready for the second row, just adjust the fence and you can continue on. Once you reach the halfway point, you can actually rotate this around and set it up again. And once you finish at the drill press or use the drill to drill all the different holes in here, just cut this to length, set the table saw at somewhere between 15 and 20 degrees to be able to cut this along the top edge. And that will take care of it. Then you'll need a matching piece to put underneath it. And that creates a nailer, if you will, to be able to screw this into your uh, shop wall to be able to hold all of your sockets. Now, if you wish to round off the bottom edge, certainly you can do that also. But this is a very simple, quick and easy project that will get all of those sockets out of the drawers and be able to store them nice and neat. Now, this will make it so convenient so that you can have all of your sockets organized and placed exactly where you need them. And that way, when you get ready to use them, you don't have to go and hunt for them. You have a quick and easy method to be able to store all of these different sockets. Now, one of the things that I want to point out to you also, if you decide to make the one for the 3 8 inch sockets, that's okay too. It's very simple. I still use the exact same measurement. This is one inch on center to be able to create the grid. So that way you can have a quarter inch set for all your sockets and the 3 8 inch set, and you don't have to change any of the measurements. It works just fine. So you can use any piece of wood, any size that you want, with however many sockets that you want to be able to hold and use just simply the quarter inch, three eighths, or for that matter, even a half inch set of sockets to be able to store all of the different uh, sockets for you. Now, I think this is just about as simple as it can possibly get to be able to uh, create a means to be able to hold all of your sockets. I hope you found this real quick and short video very useful and you'll try making one of these in your shop. So if you're just starting out, this is a perfect solution. You don't have to use the 3D printers as I did here to be able to make the socket set. Or if you don't have the CNC machine to be able to lay out that grid and drill the holes that way, no big deal. You can use just a regular hand drill, a drill press, whatever tools that you happen to have to make this really effective means to organize all your sockets. Now this set, that I had made had lasted for years and years and years before I finally retired this to be able to use another system that worked better for me in my situation. Now in your shop, you need to decide what works best. A very simple system like this that you can make to be able to put onto your wall or on your uh, cabinet that rolls around to the uh, project or something like this where you can just get one socket set to be able to have and take that wherever you need to. Now, if you find a system like this works for you, that's okay. If you have the 3D printer, you can print these out. Now, there's a lot of different methods out there to be able to store the socket, so you have to find the one that works for you. Today, I wanted to do this real short video to be able to show you different ways to be able to keep your sockets organized. Because quite frankly, the most important thing is you have 
to keep them organized. It is not a lot of fun when you spend more time finding the socket that you need than actually using it. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, don't forget, give me a thumbs up, and while you're there, hit that little subscribe button down there and a bell notification next to it. I would really appreciate it. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching this video. I really appreciate you stopping by because, quite frankly, without you watching these videos, there would be no need for this channel. And I'm trying to show different things that will help you and benefit you in your shop. So I hope that you like this video and do subscribe to the channel. So until next time, look forward to seeing you real soon. So for now, bye-bye.